so hello so in today's video i will show you how to make a neural network model so what are the use of neural network model in our case we will develop a neural network model to predict uh, predict any output that we have created using a experimental data so here i have experimental data from mixture design experiment in my uh, research work these are the mix, uh, mixture component that are mineral powder and these are the inputs and this is the output that is its contact angle so i have 27 uh, experimental data and i need to make a artificial neural network model this uh, this is the prediction from the uh, regression analysis so in my work i have compared the prediction from the regression and compare prediction from the artificial neural net, uh, network so first of all what we need to do is we will open uh, matlab then we need to download the neural net fitting this is the artificial neural network it is named as neural net fitting so you can search it uh, by install app it uh, it will come under the name of uh, neural uh, deep learning toolbox so where you can find the neural net fitting so this is the workspace where you can create a variable for example this is the predictor double click it will open in excel uh, looking sheet so what we need to do we need to these are the predictors that are input of the model so we will copy uh, do not copy this title of the data only the now paste it here and make it transpose then save another variable named as response so response are the output of this model so uh, you need to make sure that your data is more than 10 otherwise neural network will not work efficiently the more the uh, data the better will be its training and learning so it should be more than 10 so now we have two types of data predicted and response if you have a large set of data then this is uh, enough but in my case i have chosen test data separately so i will tell you according to my case what i have done in my work and what you can also do in your work this is the test data that it is not it has not been used in the training so it is used to check the efficiency of this of your developed model so now you have created the variables and then go to the apps and open neural net fitting so this video is only to show you how to use matlab uh, neural net fitting application for any data set or experiments that we perform during our PLG or MTech. So this is the general layout of this neural network that is input and then uh, then there is it, uh, internal processing through the layers and sigmoid uh, two layer feed forward network with sigmoid hidden neurons and linear output neurons. It is suitable for the regression task. So neural net fitting can be used in different uh, in different uh, types of uh, problems so here the neural net fitting is suitable for the regression task so now we will import the data now this is the predictors and these are, uh, these are the response so here we can see double array of quantizable observation and with four features that means we have four input and 27 experimental runs and here the uh, responses are 
27 observation with one output you can choose two or three outputs also so now click ok so what I have done uh, in my case I have test data zero that's why I used a different set of test data so what is the meaning of this this is splitting of data uh, this is the training data this is validation data and this is the test data so when artificial neural network starts training its data training data and validation data is separated but both of them uh, both of them are trained and the role of the validation data is to predict uh, to uh, do not let the uh, neural network overfit the model so what is overfitting if we will use only the training data let's suppose make it zero and then make training data 100% what will happen it will consider noise also as a noise also it will con uh, consider as a output so what will happen it will reduce the efficiency when we, uh, when we when we will try to predict any unseen data or any other data it will predict only for the given input output so which is which is an error of the model so model should predict uh, model should be able to predict in the unseen or untrained data also so here i have chosen 80 20 split then there is the layer size this uh, so the hidden layer, layer uh, neuron size can be calculated using the using formula So there is no uh, there is no uh, written rule for the calculation of the neuron size. So, but there are different uh, researchers who have given a, a empirical formula to estimate uh, nearby uh, nearby hidden neurons. So, the, this is the formula to calculate the number of hidden neurons. So, it's 0.5 number of input parameter that is 4 in my case and number of output parameter that is one in my case you can use multiple outputs so here you can put two three or whatever your output and this is the number of training data so training data in my case that is 80 20 so number of training is we have total 27 experiments so then and that will be 22 uh, 22 training data when we calculate this we will get the uh, approximately seven hidden neurons so this is done usually in the trial and error method so 5 to 10 i will vary this neuron size uh, layer size 5 to 10 and then we will track the performance of mean square error and then the mean absolute percentage error so mean mean square error will be we will calculate for the uh, training and mean absolute percentage error we will calculate for the uh, test data set that is not being used for the training so let's say we have five layer size the more the layer size the more the model will be will lead to the overfitting so we need to make it optimum layer size for better generalization of the data so what does uh, the generalization of data means that means the your model is uh, your model is good and can predict the unknown environment within this uh, within the range of your input so let's say if we have uh, this is if we put this input in your model it will definitely predict near nearly this but if we use any data in between these sets then it will give an error result if it is an overfitted model so a good model will also predict nearby value let's say this is from the 66 to 80 but if the model is overfitting it will give any error values uh, let's say thousand con uh, contact angle so that is why it is uh, used the, that is why we use this validation data so that it creates a generalized model or suitable model for prediction so then we need to track this training and this is the validation this is the coefficient of correlation it needs to be closer to one since training data is more than the validation data it should be more close to one you 
keep entering this again and again let's say this is this is much better than the previous one so there is no guarantee that you will get your result in one training you need to do it multiple times and then there is performance plot so the performance criteria in our case is mean square error so the uh, the neural network will try to re uh, reduce the mean square error this is the validation data after a certain point what happens validation uh, data starts so the error in the mean square error prediction starts increasing so what it takes it takes the minimum of, of both the value and this is the eight epochs min, uh, means that means it needed eight iteration to perform this to reach the best solution of this model training then there is regression plots you can save these plots for later you can save these plots also so this is the correlation coefficient for the training this is for validation and this is for the this is for the output you can export this figure and save and you uh, you can save it and use it so after training what we will do we will do the testing we will test the model so this is the mean square error and this is the coefficient of correlation now what we will do we will do uh, we will export the model so you can create it as a workspace variable you can export it to a simulink and matlab compiler i have used code matlab coder which was much more suit uh, suitable in my case so this uh, this will create a function of your trained model so what you need to do change this name and go to this editor and then save this so whatever your folder when, where you were working save this .m file and make sure that the uh, the file name is same as this one and the current folder is also here if the current folder is not shown in, uh, in this left hand the code will not run now copy this and go to the command window and then use predictor and then enter now we will see the result transpose it and copy it this is the regression prediction and this is the ANL prediction so what I have done here this is the error of prediction so this is the regression prediction and this is the error f6 minus k6 so this is the absolute uh, this is the error uh, error from the regression prediction then what we have uh, calculated here root mean square error so root mean square error can be calculated by sum of squares upon the number of observations that is 27 then a square root of this so this is the rmse value and if we are and the square of this rmse is mean square error now to the a for nn prediction this is the error from the actual and the nn prediction this is the actual uh, actual data and this is the predicted data this is the error and this is the mean square error so this uh, the mean square error for this 8.32 you can simply match this this is the 8.32 that means you, uh, you have selected uh, correct data then you need to take the snaps out of this portion because I don't know any other method that uh, to save this model because once you close this it will it will uh, it will disappear and, and you cannot recover it and this mo .m model that you have created here it will be it will always be as a code so whenever you, you need to recover your data you can always use this model and use it again and again 
uh, when you pro provide it as input in the form of this input in the form of this it will always give the result so i was telling you about how i have used it in my case so in my case i have lowered the value of mean square error and then the value of mean absolute percent error so so now i will test data test data has not been used in the actual training now we will uh, calculate the mean absolute percentage error so here is the table for the calculation this is the regression analysis prediction this is the actual prediction so this test data is separate from this uh, separate from this so these are new values this is the nm prediction so as you can see the mean absolute percent er error is lower for regression prediction and mean absolute percent er error is maximum is more than this that means our model is not appropriate till now so in my case what my criteria was i need to lower this and lower this simultaneously once i reach this uh, my criteria i select this model so this is the error and this is the mean absolute percentage error that means mean of these three errors and error is simply difference between this and this data similarly this is for the nn prediction and these data are same so that is how you can select the data and save your models if you have if you have a large data set you can use this and without the use of test data set i have separately i have used a separate test data set uh, which you can which you can drop you can use a default default setting that is 17 70 50 15 in this case you do not need to calculate any calculate any mean absolute percentage error separately so let's say based on your your results uh, or your input data so this will be sufficient once you reach this so what you need to uh, what you need to see that the correlation coefficient is closer to 1 in all cases so here we see this is minus 0.97 that means this is wrong so you need to train it multiple times let's say it has it is 0.93 this is 0.87 and this, the, this one also comes nearly 0.85 and the mean square error there is also in the reasonable range then we will select this model so that is how we can train our model and export this data to matlab coder and use this and you can use this uh, multiple times to predict your data so that is how we can use the artificial neural network model